Remember when what man was saying to me, oh yeah, like Rashford's dusted and all these other things. Listen, let me tell you something mm. for free. Rashford's a better footballer than Anthony Alanga, yeah. And Anthony Alanga is now playing at a team in a system where they're utilizing him in a way where least, is it, man. Come on, but that's man. what I'm saying. Like, man. like, bro, yeah, it's yeah, not because Alanga's man. good. It's not because he's good. And that's what I'm saying. What people don't realize is in football, and especially modern mm. football, because it's so structure orientated. You don't have to be an absolute world beater, yeah, to to put up good numbers and 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 to have little good spells, bro. You just need to be put in a system, yeah, that favors your skill set, in it. That's all you yep. need. And then if you've got a good yep. coach as well on top of it, it's an absolute bonus. That's just all bonus. it is. Rashford ain't had a coach yep. yeah, since Van Gaal. Neither has Martial. Neither has a lot of these players, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like even when I look at, even when I look at Mason, bro, it's like, bro, he done all of that without a coach. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. I, imagine if he had a proper. Imagine if he had yeah, a proper no. coach. Do you know what I mean? Imagine yeah, if yeah, these yeah. youths had a coach like Van Gaal that was actually nurturing them. He only had Oli, innit? I mean, he only had exactly. Oli, innit? But that's Oli. what I mean. Oli yeah, ain't yeah. no coach, and he said it himself. No. Like Carrie and no, McKenna were there. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? And you know what what I mean. He he ain't got no kind of natural ability. All of it, like I said to you, he's just athleticism. Bro, this guy's a ball. He, he is an him. athlete, bro. And you know what? I'm, but the thing is, I'm happy for him. He's a good kid, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's one of them. Yeah, yeah. You go into a different environment. You get me? He never really had a massive mm. skill set. He was quick. You put him in behind, yeah? He had speed, etc., etc. That's what it mm. was, man. He's gone to yeah. a different uh, team with a different skill set, with a different mentality. And that's all it is, bro. Fair play mm. to him. But what happens at United is different, man. You've got to be mentally strong. When you don't beat a man, it gets into you. You start then crumbling. Bro, pressure is different. Yeah, but yeah, but you it shouldn't. And, but it shouldn't though. Yeah. And that's what I mean, is because these guys are not being nurtured. Because if you're a player, if you are a player that you know that one of your main strengths is 1v1s, yeah. If you try and get past the Great guy on one it. or two times and you yeah, don't yeah. get past them, bro, you keep going because it's like Yeah. one thing that comes with that style of play, yeah, is the belief that you can yeah. just keep doing it bro like do you know what i mean you don't get your confidence by going past players you get your confidence by waking up in the morning putting your boots on and stepping on the pitch that's what it is if it doesn't work yeah mm, that you just fact. keep you keep going bro because if that's if that's who you are and that's what you do because if you look at for instance yeah you compare that to someone like kevin de bruyne does he stop trying to play that pass because the first second third fourth pass doesn't he no. doesn't hit keeps trying to play <laughs> no. that pass you know what i'm saying he doesn't say oh you know what i've given the ball away the last two times i'm I'm just going to keep it simple he's still going oh, for the yeah, pass yeah, yeah. Like, you know like that yeah, yeah. he's still going for it and the thing is when you're a dribbler and you're a 1v1 player you got to have that same mentality it's like yo i am here this is my purpose isn't it so cool it hasn't worked first it hasn't worked the second time of course you got to vary your game and maybe keep it simple like bounce the ball back to where it came from a few times show a few different mm. looks do you know what i mean but ultimately yeah you have to believe in what you do if that's your thing believe that's... in it you know like that yeah. so when i see in players yeah like when i was watching the last game and i and, and i see 17 having an absolute mare yeah and it's like bro like you can't get past your fullback yeah. and you could one visibly one. you could visibly Terrible. see the confidence just draining out a man's game and then everything yeah. just went fell apart everything yeah not not just the 1v1s the first touch disappeared the passing disappeared everything disappeared shooting you know what i'm saying everything 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 just disintegrated in it and that should never happen that should never happen if you if you're a proper footballer yeah that should never happen bro you gotta understand yeah that when you're in these 1v1 duels yeah it's a legit 50 50 bro it is do you know what i mean it doesn't become a 50 50 when you're exceptionally talented like mm. a young CR7, yeah, when he was dribbling at players, it wasn't a 50 50. Most of the time, it was nah, probably he, a 70 30. He, knew, he, in he his had favor. that number. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was had a 70 30 in his favor. Like, if it's a legit 50 50, then it's not your thing. I can't lie. If you're a dribbler and mm. you don't get past players more than you get past players, you shouldn't be a dribbler. That's not your thing. That's not your bag. Girlski. That's not your you bag. <laughs> I'll be real. Yeah, no, thing is. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is with me though, every single one of our uh, our, our wingers that are playing right now all play the same way, man. It's so irritating, man. Like you know, what it is yeah. It's At because they have no have... direction, no. Said. They have no direction. Yeah, I know, I know, no direction. It's just vibes up front, yeah. But the thing is, yeah, you've got to have a balance, man. You know, what it is with certain wingers, yeah. Maybe on one side you have a, a different type of winger that runs in behind his pace. It's like Bayern Munich. Coleman is more of a 
You know what, running in behind is quick and whatnot. The mm. Elias Sane, different type of winger who likes to mm. dribble, a bit more technically secure, etc. Bro, I'm seeing the same dynamic on one side and on the other. It's actually tiring to watch, you know, man. Mm. No, yeah, but no that's because no one, there, the manager should be, the, the manager Ivan needs to pick different, um, the manager yeah, needs to pick exactly. different variations of attackers, yeah, or he needs to direct these guys, bro. And this is why I say, yeah, and you ain't like, seen that. <laughs> why ain't seen why that. he hasn't tried Rasmus on the right wing? Bro, why? He's a winger now, man. I'm, I'm telling you now. Put him on the right wing, man. That's why he was playing for Atlanta most of the time, man. Put him on that right side. Get him off the shackles of flipping being a WWE wrestler, man. Bro, I'm I can't kind of lie. I feel guy. like I feel like Oli would have tried it. I feel like Jose would have yeah, tried everyone. it. Remember, remember, we even tried Lukaku on the right. Like remember because bro, he can because he can cross, bro. You know, like that. Like yeah, it's I, like at least Jose <laughs> tried the thing. At bro, Lukaku Jose... was one of our best crossers, you know. Lukaku, bro, was a... Lukaku can cross, crossing. bro. If he can do anything, he can cross a football. He can't do anything else, but he can cross a <laughs> ball, bro. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. a lot of the time, strikers know, yeah. Strikers know where to put the ball. They always know where to put. Yeah, the yeah, ball. Yeah. Oli could cross as well. Yeah. When we used to play Oli on the right wing, because there was one was point the right where half of the time. yeah, we we played Oli on the right wing in games when we needed a goal, and bro, like he yeah. could put the ball. In these dangerous areas, because these men know where they want it. Do you know tell you a better one. Wait, really? Did he? Did he start off his career up front, bro? He was playing on the. Bro, he, he was, was accompanying on... Ronaldo and them, man. He was playing yeah. on the wings half of the he, time, he, man. He was. Ronaldo, the manager was like, you know, Ronaldo what? needed a free roll. Ronaldo needed a free roll, and the manager said, you know what? I'm going to put you on the wing. Let me analyze it in, in in a certain way. Let me get the best out of you even more. And then when he went on front, he was even more lethal. So end of the day, you've got to try something and analyze where things are going for you to like say you know what cool maybe this is your position now like try it bro you don't harm anyone but this man is just stubborn because he bought him and now he's gambled on it and now he's thinking yo you must it's almost as if you know when you say to someone right okay you need to get these um these, these set of results in your exams here but as a teacher you're not teaching a different way of let's say a, a i don't know let's say we're doing multiple multiple uh, multiplication and you're not doing a different way for him to learn. Who's, whose fault is it? Is it the student or is it the teacher? You haven't found a way, a different Always way for him the to teach and learn it. That's all it is. When you're it's teaching, you have to find a different way of learning. That's your mm. job until he gets it right. You know what I'm trying to say to you? So end of the day, the manager's not finding a different way of learning for Hoyland. He's just saying, you are a striker and that's where you're going to be. That's mm. it, simple. That's where you're going to be. But you can't keep being stubborn. Come on, man. You can't keep being stubborn like that, bro. Because nobody's going to... We're going to lose out. And, and Broski, every single striker in the Premier League is scoring more goals than us. Like, it's getting embarrassing now, bro. It's yeah. actually getting embarrassing. No no goals in four games, right? No goals in four games. No goals. Yeah, but that's just that's our madness. attackers, bro. Like, when you look at the individual performances as well, they're not good. Do you? you could argue that Anthony's yeah, they're not probably... Good. They're not good. Um, you could argue that Anthony's probably been our best, our best attacker in, I the know, in a weird games, way. Bro. In a weird way, he has. He Do has. you know what I mean? Like, and <laughs> that's just because him. exactly, and that's just because he's messing up less than everyone else. It's not even because he's good. Yeah, he's just not as no, bad as no. everyone else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's yeah, where yeah, the, yeah. that's where the bar is, bro. Like when you actually Broke deep you. it, like that's where the bar is. That's where the bar is, man. You get me? Like I feel like in possession, yeah. He can be a bit tidy until he gets to that final third. You know, yeah. what I mean? you look at him, like, okay, he's keeping the ball, he's retaining possession. Then you're like, okay, when you get into the box, he does that stupid shot here yeah, that he did last season a few times and went in here. Yeah. But he keeps doing them shots. But then he, he made one cross to Hoyland. And this is the problem, man. Hoyland did not anticipate it, was not on his toes. And then he missed it. Apart from that, we didn't get anything else out of him. And did he not yeah. take him off as well? He he, takes, he tends to take off Anthony first as well. Because well, he knows him, time. blood. You know what I'm saying? Well, there you go. Well, there you go. He, and he should have took off Because he, he knows he just him, bro. Do you know what I mean? And oh, that's yeah. what it is. Because he knows him, he'll, he'll take him off, bro. And the thing is with Anthony, like I said it a million times, it's like, cool. Fundamentally, he's not the worst player. His decision making's not good, and technically, he does yeah. bozo things. But again, what is that? What are these guys working on with him in training? Because every time Anthony gets on the edge of the box, crosses the ball out for a goal kick all yeah, the time, or he tries to shoot <laughs> and it goes out for a goal kick. It's like, bro, yeah. you should be working on instilling 
something into his game that he can repeat again and again and again. Even if it mean if even if it means yeah that we're getting a hundred footballs, and mm. I'm playing that ball into Anthony on the right wing, and he's getting the ball out of his feet and he's putting it into the box. Bro, if you need to do it a hundred times every training session, we're doing it a hundred times every training session. Like, bro, that's what we're, that's what I we're doing. Watching, um, I was watching De Jermaine Defoe on uh, Field Fellas last night, and he was like, "Yo, after training, I was shooting like ev like 20, 30 minutes after everyone left." This is mm. the problem that our players doing that nowadays. I don't know. You know, what I'm trying to say, I don't know if they stayed after training to work on it. I feel like now this got a divine right. You know what? Mm. I'm cool now. I'm made at United. You know what I mean? And I'm and everything's cozy. And the managers made everything cozy for players, man. You know, what I'm trying to yeah. say to you. So I feel like players naturally now just don't work on their skill set. It's based on the athlete's game. You know, yeah, if you yeah, can be, yeah, if you is, can is, be is, in tip top condition and you're running and you track back and you do the bare minimum, but everything else is based on individual brilliance, man. That's what it is nowadays. You know, what yeah, but, art, yeah, but that, but that's even more reason. But that's even more reason why these men should be working on the technical side of the game. Do you know what I mean? But they're not yeah. doing it. But if they were no. smart, they would realize, yeah, that bro, because the game lacks so much technically now, it's like if you're a good technical player. You yep. can just elevate your game so high, bro. It's just like when you look at Tenfold. modern football right now, yeah? How many wide players can you think of that genuinely are good at taking players on? Most of them can't take players on no more. So it's like, bro, yo, even if you just work man. on that and add that to your game, you put yourself in a whole nother price bracket in terms of salary and also transfers uh, because you can do something no one else can do. Like, it's just one of them uh, ones where the basic skills that we would expect from players... A lot of these men no longer have, bro. So it's just like, nope. why would you not work more? You got more time. You get paid more than the players that nope. used to play before you, bro. Them man genuinely worked harder, yeah, and didn't didn't get paid as much. Now you're getting paid all this money. You got way more time. Mm. Like, sort it yeah, out, yeah. bro. Do you know what I mean? How are you no, a 100%. professional footballer and you can't cross a ball, bro? Mm. To me, it don't make sense. <laughs> But you know, it's not five yard passes, bro. McTominay can't even do five yard passes. Bruno yeah. Fernandez at his age still can't work in the system and, and be a, and be a good footballer. Like, what what are we doing, man? You know, what I'm trying to say to you. So mm. I feel like a these players have been programmed to be the transition team, but now mm. the manager's not even making it into his team now. I don't know what he's doing. Like, I generally don't know what mm. the plan is for Ten Hag in terms of what he's trying to implement in this team, what he's trying to make us become. Like, if you could, if if we could see a, a little bit of a something from Ten Hag, we, I don't think most of us would be Ten Hag out. But the problem is, we haven't seen anything from us to back him and be like, there's any nothing. guidance, there's any direction. There's not been nothing. Against, against West Ham, I was bored to death. I fell asleep. I fell asleep, bro. Yeah, I genuinely horrible. fell asleep. The game was bad. Horrible football. The game was the game was so bad, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And he was drifting like, away from us, drifting yeah. away from us every single time. Uh, you get horrendous. me, bro? Like, man, you saying there's I mean, no bro. point doing 30 shots for Hoyland if he's getting one pass in seven hours. But bro, what you gotta realize is, yeah, yeah. If as a striker, if you're not receiving a ball, it's your fault, bro. It's your fault. Do you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, yeah, there's there's multiple things you can do as a striker. The first yeah. thing you can do is speak to the players that are supposed to be your supply line and tell them what you expect from them. Because I used to do it all the time, bro. Yeah. Like, I used to say to well, them, you go. I say, yo, when you receive the ball here, like, look down the line, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Or I tell them, yo, play it into my feet. Especially when I'm playing with yeah. people I'm not used to playing with. Because, bro, no matter what level you play at, even if I was to go kick ball on a Sunday randomly with a bunch of people I don't know, yeah, the first thing I'm telling these midfielders is, yo, this is how I like it. I like it into my feet. That's you know? how I like so, it. Yeah, you always so say it. I play, like it. Play it into feet. my feet, bro. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, bro, yeah. you make a habit Simple. of saying, yo, play it into my feet. Don't lump it, bro. If you see me, even if there's a man on me, pass me the ball, bro. It's cool. Like, you let man know that, yo, this is how I play the game, innit? Rasmus can either say to Garnacho, you know. yeah, say to Garnacho or say to Anthony, yo, like when you receive the ball, I'm going to make this run look for me. That's all you need to do. They don't, they don't deserve the respect, bro. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know why Hull is being too soft on these guys. Yeah, but, 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 but he's 20 goals. years old. He's some little, he's a little soft youth, blood, and the club's nah, too but... big for him. The club's too big for nah, him because, you know what, cause bro, do you think, see when Slatan came in, do you think that Slatan when he came in, he never demanded yeah, no. the ball from people. He demanded it. Bro, you know, like He's that, bro. Listen, you, yeah, bro, yeah. You, you, listen, in life, yeah, you have to take respect, you know. 
You know, like that. You have to Facts. take respect from people, bro. You can't just expect people to respect you because you're here. It's nah, like, nah, 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 bro. Nah, 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 nah. Respect is mine. I'm taking this. Yeah. You know, like that. I'm taking this. You know this. what's Yo. mad, though? Yeah. But, but my thing is, yeah, a lot of people, I, I get it, yeah, Hoyle and da 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 but I still think for me, his movement is poor, man. He don't it's really want to receive the ball. You know what's mad, yeah? People, listen, people can say what they want about Martial and that, but one thing when that ball goes into him, it at least sticks to him and it brings people into play. He knows when to kind of go, you know what? Yeah, but also he, he shows for it, bro, because the thing is, yeah, it's not a coincidence yeah, yeah, no, exactly. that the ball goes into Martial because Martial knows, yeah, how to start behind the defender, run in front of the defender, pin them, and then show for yeah. the ball. He'll pin them and, and he'll be like, yeah, play it. But he's got the guy pinned. Hoyland asked for the ball. He's not even set up to receive it. And then he's wrestling, Yo. yeah. He's wrestling with the defender while the ball's on the way into him. If you watch, that's why he ends up on the floor. If you watch, yeah, if you, as a striker, if you set your base before the ball's played, a player can't push you over. It's impossible. That's what I'm saying. It's impossible. Because if you're pinning him, yeah, and you're leaning into him and he's pushing into you, there's no way you should end up on your face. The only way you end up on nope. your face is if you're trying to set while the ball's on the way in. Like, you're not set, bro. So why are you asking for the ball if you're not set? And that's what he does, and then he just gets bounced over. Like, we see it all the time. This guy's rolling around on the floor, and, like, the ball's on the way into him, and he's tussling with... Like, it's like, bro, what are you yeah. tussling with? 